towards Keane Lynch on the 14 yard line. Surely another goal chance for Limerick. Yeah, Lynch puts it to the back of the net. And Limerick get the goal that deserve for all their efforts so far. Limerick have been accepted into the hurling gates of heaven for the first time since 1973. Winning last year, as a kid, you dream of days like that. You see players walking up the steps of Hogan Stand collecting Lee McCarthy. So for all of us, it was a dream come true and one of the moments that will live with us for the rest of our lives. I suppose it was a year of dreams and a year we'll never forget, but we don't want to sit back in our laurels, so we'd love to get back and drive on again. You don't realise what it means to people, how something can lift someone's life, family even, see what it means to the mother and father there, the sisters and the brother, how sport can shape people's lives and bring happiness into houses is just special. Both my parents, my mother, coming from the Kerry background, it was all hurling and massive history there. My father, being a tip man, he brought myself and my brother to nearly every all Ireland film. It's massive and it's so important for every kid to get involved in some sort of sport. It's a way of staying humble and appreciating life because we're able to get up and attack the day and play the sport you love. It does go back to sport being the saving grace. It's a routine and it's a way of staying disciplined, you know. I know these are moments you look back on, you appreciate what your parents have done for you. There is life after her and there's life before her too and it's something that we can't lose sight of either. Like. There's a lot of history, especially in Patrick's Well, with the old Carey family there and what they've done. When you have uncles and family that are so supportive and so behind you in everything you do, that they're always there and they're always there to give you a, a bit of advice, but both from Oscar Wilde, it was be yourself, everyone else is taken. I'm going into schools there and seeing kids so consumed by phones and social media and people believe we all have to conform to the social norms or we all have to do the same thing or we all have to follow the same path. And for me, it's just living my own story and like 2018 is over now and the minute the 1st of January came this year, it was a new chapter and a new, a new year and as you see, Kilkenny and Tipperary in the All-Ireland Final, now we just give our right legs to be inside in that All-Ireland Final, but that's where sport goes and as I say, it's about digging deep and going back into the mental side of things and pulling yourself out and especially after losing that semi-final, you'll be questioning yourself, you'll be questioning everything, but when you're inside your room on your own, everything's going through your mind, you're just thinking of what you could have done or what could have happened, but that's, that's why it's great to get back with your club, it's going to get you back into a routine and get the confidence back up because confidence can be shattered after a game like that. Losing a game is probably one of the worst feelings there is. Every player goes out to try and play his best and when things don't go well, you feel like the world is down on top of your shoulders and it's like everything, why stop? Why stop and give up when you can keep going to make yourself better to get back next year and drive things on again because that's what the great players have done and that's what the great teams do. They bounce back and get back together and they regroup and they learn more in a defeat than they do in a win. I could say something to young people I do experience highs and lows. Like We all experience every day in life from the massive moments of triumph, from the worst, darkest days in our lives. It could just get out, get some fresh air, just eat well, be well, and I suppose a healthy mind is a healthy body, so you won't go too far wrong.